Hey everybody, hope you guys had a great weekend and don't forget short trading week ahead. Uh, we have Monday through Thursday and Friday will be off. Good Friday. So expect a little lighter volume into the market as we're heading into Monday and of course throughout the week. But uh, this week I think is going to be pretty special and it's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, first of all, uh, window dressing, front and center. And in case you don't know what window dressing is, check out the email where I am explaining all the details and what you can expect throughout this week. I also think that the market is ready to explode even higher because we have some very interesting formations into the market. And I also want to share with you my thoughts for this week and also uh, our biggest performers last week. Now, don't forget that the average benchmark for the market for any fund is about 8 to 10% per year. What if I told you that in one single stock we made over 25% in a few days? That's right, Monday through Friday. This is pretty insane. This is what I'm telling you guys. Don't let your money sleep it out. Let your money do all the work, do all, all the exercises and let your money work for you. The biggest thing and the most important thing, especially with this inflation. So let's take a quick look at the market and then I'm going to share with you some really amazing trades that we did this week. And we also have a hot list for next week, which is going to be pretty cool and pretty interesting. So uh, let's get started, everybody. Here is a chart of the queues. As you can see, all time highs into the queues, which is phenomenal because we may be heading higher. I want to show you something very interesting. Uh, the reason why we have been uh, sitting here for the last four weeks, though, even though we had an all time high on uh, all time high last week, is because we uh, have reached a very very important decision point. So we are into a uh, FIB extension resistance area and we have consolidated here. As you can see, we are in a power ultra power trend. So that means that the price action is not giving up and it's not falling below that uh, 10 exponential moving average that I'm using here. And uh, what happens if we trade over uh, last week's high, the old time high? Do, do you guys think that we're going to head on higher? Well, yes, of course. Here is the new projection for higher into the $500, 500 to 510, 513. The, this is going to be uh, the big pop out. Now, when it's going to get there in time, like with everything, right? So uh, don't forget that since January till now, we have over 12% accumulation into the queues, 12% uh, profit. Uh, in, for for the first three months. So this is incredible. Uh, this may be a task for the second quarter. And don't forget that usually election years are super bullish, everybody. They have always been very bullish. The market tends to enter into a sleepy mode as we're heading more into late summer and into fall. Uh, the market is going to be, you know, into that indecision phase, kind of like waiting to see until something, you know, more clear is going to uh, come along. So uh, market hurt, hates uncertainty. So market will become a lot more certain just after election. All right, so this is a chart, the cues. Let's take a look at uh, the spies here. The spies all as well have had a really tremendous run. I just want to show you the next projections for um, the spies, right? Because the spies here have been really strong, uh, but not as strong as uh, the queue. So here we go. We have a new level here into the 532 that I think is going to be super important for the next transition higher because this may create a little bit of stall momentum, uh, even for the queues, because it's a matter of which index is going to hit resistance first. And that resistance, depending on how it tackles that resistance, it may impact uh, the other indices, the other ETFs as well. So yes, it's going to be a moment in time, the line in the sand that it broken above. Yes, everything is going to continue higher. And uh, right from the beginning, uh, we said in January that we may see really huge targets uh, ahead. And one of the targets for the SPIs was into the $600 for this year. Uh, definitely really an incredible run. We were expecting this run at least into the summer summertime. 
So we have been incredibly bullish. We haven't even had one short uh, into our swings and we have just pushed the pedal to the metal uh, for the long side. So that's the cues and the spies. So this is what I'm expecting for next week. Uh, like I said, a little bit of a pullback here that uh, that we're getting at the moment. Well, and uh, again, this is going to be very a very interesting week. It's a window dressing week. Don't forget to check out the newsletter that uh, we have out. So. Uh, Want to see what we traded this week? GPS. And we were really aggressive as we were going into this FOMC meeting. And I have to tell you, I think we had like 10 or 12 trades uh, that we called for uh, for this week. We just, just I, I just couldn't help myself. They were like too good to be true. So let's take a look at GPS here. Uh, GPS, uh, our entry, $21.10. And take a look at this massive performance. And of course, this is not only for from last week, this is our biggest performer for, um, for the month of March because our entry was March 11th and you can see here at 35%. <gasps> Are you kidding me? This is crazy pants. This is crazy town. Yes, my money is working for me. So GPS really massive move to the upside and we're in trailing phase in GPS and uh, right now $27.80 is our trail stop. So yeah. We're still in the game. All right, let's check out NVIDIA because NVIDIA was one of the stocks. Uh, really cool. Um, not that it was incredibly off charts, but are you kidding me? Over 6% in a week. We do have some other trades that are like 1% or less than 1%, but the most important thing is that they're all into the green. This is the most important thing. All right, so let's take a look at Google, right? Here it is. Here is Google Rudy for us. And uh, Google, we initiated the trade on March 11th. And March 11th seemed to be like a really good date where we have a lot of setups that are happening and really great performance on this one. If you could see it here, 9.28% uh, up. So yeah, our money is working for us. And we have, let us let me show you one more, DKNG. And I'm not gonna bore you, but you can see the caliber of trades that we're looking for and we're trained. We trained our eye to look for these specific charts that are explosive. So over 11% in this, really cool. So we do have a lot on our watch list for next week. For example, we have, uh, Chewy, uh, we have XLE, uh, we have Micron, we even have Dell. So we have a lot on our list. And I want to show you really quickly something very interesting because we're heading into an FOM, uh, we're heading into, whew, we had FOMC, uh, we're heading into uh, the, uh, the, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, super tired, just came back home uh, and uh, from a really fabulous weekend in the Keys. Uh, but I just thought I'd just pop in uh, to into your inbox just to share some really dynamic ideas. But um, I was going to say window dressing. Okay, so here are some groups that are, I think, very interesting that you guys need to focus on and scan within these sectors. I think it's going to be very important. So three months performance, technology is leading. You guys can see it right here, followed by communication services, industrials, financials, healthcare. So these are going to be uh, the primary uh, sectors where your focus is going to be to find some winners and to find the leaders in these categories because most likely the portfolio managers, hand managers are going to ditch what has not performed within the th within the last three months. You know, stock like Chewy, for example, they're just going to continue lower uh, and they're going to jump into high flying stocks. Yeah, it's perfectly legal. So crazy. <laughs> it is. So focus on technology, communication services, industrial. This is very cool. And uh, let's go back to the heat map here because I want to show you something really cool as well. Uh, this is the three month performance. Take a look at Microsoft 15%. How about NVIDIA? 95% for these three months. 17% in Amazon, LA Lily for about 35%. Uh, take a look at JP Morgan. Ooh. 18%. Financials have been incredibly strong within this past quarter, and uh, usually they tend to pull back into FOMC. Mm, not this time. 
right? So maybe everything that, you know, kind of like came out was pretty expected. I mean, everybody was, you know, expecting a non-reaction. All right. So, um, guys, what can I say? Uh, if you want to join our swing trading, uh, swing trading program, the link is right below. Click on it. If you want to start having some explosive gains in your portfolio. So hope you guys are going to have a really great week ahead and happy Easter for those of you that are celebrating.